following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to our man Jim in Palm Harbor. Hey, what's going on, brother? Hey, how are you guys doing today? Doing great, man. How you been? Oh, great. I really appreciate you and Tommy. You, you do great job, great work, and I really appreciate it. I watch you every day. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here, man. Let's go to uh, Sylvia in Tampa. Hey, Sylvia, how you doing? Hey, Tom. Good morning. Thank you so much for taking my call. I want to tell you thank you so much for the advice you gave me on dust yesterday. I exited when you told me, and I made a, I made a healthy profit for, That's awesome. for a very short period. So thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down uh, 450. NASDAQ is off 205. S&Ps are down 54. Percentage wise out here, we get some big action, folks. You get the Dow Industrials down 1.8%. NASDAQ is down 2.7. S&Ps are down 1.98. And bottom line, you get volume behind the move. Gold contract. Gold contract's down $1.20, trading at 12.69.50. We get silver down 12, 10 cents. $16.31. Light sweet crude off 52 cents, $68, six pennies a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10 year note up seven ticks, 12001. 30 year bond up 13, 144, 12. They both want higher price, lower yield. King dollar. King dollar down 270 ticks, trading at 93.910. The euro is 117.07 to 1 US dollar. The yen is out here at 109.5 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look. And if we take a look at the SPY first, what you're going to see, you're down. It's Monday in the summer, and guess what? You have volume. Bottom line, that's really hard to do, folks. Uh, this baby, we've already done 83 million shares. It takes out the swing point that had 97 million. Bottom line, it's going to do about 120, 130 million. The SPY is trading 269.50. We know it hasn't been hit yet. It's the high volume swing low from February 9th, 252.92. That's where this baby wants to go. If you look at the cash S&P, cash S&P, right now you're at uh, 26.99, and that number is 25.32. Uh, bottom line is that uh, right where we are right now, uh, we are at the open of January 2nd. That's where we, the S&P cash is right now. NDX 100, same setup. NDX 100, you're down, monster volume on the way down. Uh, bottom line, the uh, NDX right now is back to where we were January 26th. Doesn't take much. Uh, four, four trading days, just gives it up. So the Qs, you're down 525. You're at 170. You've done 56 million shares. We topped out last week. We top out with uh, 33 million Blow its brains out, coming down. What's wide open? High volume swing low, 150. And you're at 170. So it's a monster number, man. You know, when you look at this, and, you know, I've talked about this before. You know, the NASDAQ and, and the NDX 100, they seem like they'll never go down. And when they break, it's extraordinary when they break. And bottom line, what you have now is that we are not only down, you're inside the lower range again, false breakout, had no volume. You're coming off the highs and you're coming off them with volume. Uh, 150 is coming at you in that NDX 100. The Russell 2000, which was the strongest uh, ETF structure out there, down three and a quarter. Bottom line, this has a long way to go to get inside the lower range. Uh, we're at 164. Give it another two days. Uh, 160, 62 is inside it. And what the small caps did do on Friday as well as today, you come off those highs and you come off those highs with big volume. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract is still trying to catch a bid coming off the bottom. Gold contract right now is trading at a price point of 1269. 
Uh, we'll get down to uh, 1265 today, rejected lower price. Bottom line, it's going to have to build up uh, some cause in order to get back into that downdraft from the 15th of, Oct of uh, May, of June, rather. That's when we went from a price point of 1307 to 1277. It's going to take a bit to repair that damage. The GDX, we take a look at the GDX because what we did have is that the uh, GDX, the equities still held up in a bad market. Uh, and they continue to hold up. So GDX right now is back 19 cents. We went top side off Friday, 39 million. We're at 14 right now. That is still saying that the gold and silver equities want higher price. Silver, we're gonna take a look at silver. Silver bottom line had not broken any major swing point. Um, same setup today. Bottom line is that uh, silver had some strength on Friday. You're backing down and you're backing down with, uh, well, and silver you're backing down around the same. We're, we're, we're coming into, Let's see. Coming into 29,000 contracts, and we've done 228. Let me just see. We're rolling a contract here. Let me look at this for a second. So, silver. No, yeah, it's okay. So, it's 29 versus. Uh, versus one second. Yeah, we're back and it's a 29, you've done 28. So th that is actually going to do just about the same amount of uh, contract volume. Notes and bonds. Let's go take a look at the note and bond market. This, this market is just phenomenal, folks. Uh, this has been saying for quite some time, though, the bottom line is that you, this market wants to get hit. So the 10-year note, up 6 ticks, 120.01. Uh, bottom line, that's making a run for 121.03. That's a high volume high that we have up there. 30-year uh, bond, same type of setup inside the 30-year. 30 30-year 30 right now is trading at a price point. Eight. Oops. There we go. 30-year is trading at a price point of 134.11. You've done 210,000 contracts. That's looking to go test this uh, 145 area. And King Dollar, what do we have with King Dollar? Okay, so King Dollar out here, we failed last week at the 95.070 October 2017 swing high. We come off that high, today you get light volume. 14,000 is not a lot. You're inside the range though, that's the bottom line, you're inside the lower range. Uh, we'll see if we get an expansion of volume as it goes to lower price. You can see the correlation uh, inside the euro. Euro had rejected lower price last week, goes topside today, has some juice uh, inside that market. Euro looks to be that you're going to get, you want to go a lot higher. The XLF also, Tommy and I were talking about this this morning, folks, is that the financials, see ya, don't want to be ya. You know, you think the chips are bad. Guess what? These financials are going to be like a mess. They are a mess right now. Uh, they just basically took out its February 9th swing low, 2676. You're at 2663. This is going to be a, a major breakdown. And good old uh, Berkshire Hathaway is leading the way down inside those financials. Berkshire had broken uh, the swing this morning, and now you're accelerating. You're accelerating with volume. Stay right there, folks. Coming right back. We had the Dow Industrials right now down 250, 260. NASDAQ is off uh, 215. Come right back. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, down 452. You get the NASDAQ down 202. S&Ps are uh, down 54. Uh, if we go back, uh, let's go to Berkshire Hathaway, BRK. What you're going to see in this, folks, is that uh, as these financials are breaking down, uh, Berkshire Hathaway, we're, we're off a high of uh, two, 217. You bring this back, you're going to see we're, we're breaking uh, a, a consolidation that has been in place since December of 2017. Uh, you had the high volume swing, and this is what high volume swings are all about. You had the high volume swing low 189. Bottom line, you bounced all the way up to 213. That was in March 9th. Bottom line, what do you do today? You take it out. Now, what that sets up, that sets up a 182. Uh, if we get volume on that, then you're talking a whole different ball game, you know. Uh, and you're not going to need a huge amount of volume, by the way. On a weekly basis, you need 23 million, and we've already done that 3.6 today. We get that, you get that, then they're talking about serious damage here. You're talking about... Uh, 157 uh, inside Berkshire Hathaway. If we go to J.P. Morgan Chase and you take a look at J.P. Morgan Chase, you're going to see the same type of setup. Um, it's been going after this high volume high since five high, high volume low since February 9th, or 103. Uh, now the the danger. So oh, this, this is pretty cool actually. So the high volume low 103.98. We hit 103.96 today. Uh, and thus far, it's rejected it. So this is going to be a, a big number to keep your eye on. Um, you know, that is on the short-term basis. The longer-term basis, what you're going to see is that this consolidation, if you basically line up the top of the consolidation and the bottom, you're going to see that all the juice, all the power is on the downtown. Each and every time it's going down there, volume accelerates. It's, that's building cause for lower price. Bank of America, BAC, we take a look at BAC, same type of setup in BAC. Uh, actually, BAC just blew it out. Uh, you, the high volume low on BAC was $28. Oh, no, it's, it hasn't hit it yet. $28. Yeah, it has. $28.43. It blew it out. Uh, we're at $28.36 right now. We take this. You put this on. A weekly going all the way back, and bottom line is that the market uh, basically has uh, given up the ghost. Uh, let's go to Goldman. We take a look at Goldman. Uh, Goldman Sachs. And then Goldman, you know, by the way, was the first one to basically ring the bell. Gold Goldman was ringing that bell at the uh, 250 mark uh, when it failed. 
Uh, Goldman right now is trading where it was trading in December of 2016. Uh, so what, what you're going to see out here on the weekly, yeah, Goldman still wants to test like 209. Right now you're at 220. That's on a weekly. If we put this on a five-year monthly, same setup. You know, where Goldman could get, Goldman is right where at 220.77. So right where we're trading right now, if we break into that bar, by, by four or five points, this is going to be big trouble because in the month of November of 2016, folks, Goldman traded from 174 to 200 and did have volume. You know, so what happens here is that when you go back in, in, into the bar, if you get an expansion of volume, which we already have, um, you know, and you start taking the price out, well, guess what? Then we'll go to the bottom of that bar. We go take a look at uh, Netflix, NFLX. Netflix, they're moving that baby out. And, you know, what we had, uh, NFLX, Netflix had uh, just finished up an ABC structure on the way up. This baby's coming off the highs with volume. You're down 28 bucks. You're at 383. Um, you know, we'll see how it's going to handle now the uh, 364. This baby went up so dramatically, guess what? It can go down just as quick. Uh, inside, the, uh, NV, inside the chip market, it's all over the place. Uh, the chip market, NVIDIA just went down to $13.5. NVIDIA hasn't tested yet. It's high volume swing low. That's game. So when you're looking at all these charts, folks, bottom line, go right to your high volume swing low from February 6th to February 9th. That's where these babies want to go. Uh, Holly Davison, if you hadn't heard yet, uh, bottom line is that they are getting toasted, roasted. They're going to be moving production, uh, some production out of the United States so that they uh, can basically sell of their motorcycles in Europe at a better price. They're going to eat. Uh, they did a filing that they're going to eat uh, 90 to 100 million. Uh, bottom line is that, uh, guess what? If you're in Milwaukee, you're totally flipped out right now because uh, you're, you're losing jobs. Um, just the reverse of what was supposed to happen here. Uh, you get uh, Holly Davidson's down to three bucks. You're at 41.25. And we'll see how it hits the B point. You know, this very well could be a very large ABC structure on the way down. If we take a look at this. You're going to see it wants to hit 36.36. If we break that, then it's big trouble. You break that. Right now, Harley's trading back where we were. Uh, ooh, look at that. That's really dangerous, actually. Let me look at this. Yeah, Harley never made it uh, to its highs of 2006. You made it to 73. The high of 2006 was 75. Yeah, this is trouble in paradise. We'll see whether 46 is going to, uh, well, 36 is going to hold. 46, it went through that like a knife and butter. And if we, if that happens, then you're talking a whole different ball game. You know, we'll see how that uh, shakes out. Yeah, there's no doubt that's been going down for a while. There's no, no two ways about that. Um, some of the higher volume uh, equities out here, and we take a look at it, this is what we have. You have uh, uh, Advanced Micros down 69 cents, Micron Techs off 364. You get Microsoft down 265, Intel's off 180, Apple's down 340, Campbell Soup, uh, Kraft is looking to buy Campbell Soup, uh, that's the rumor, that's up 322. Uh, Facebook is down 750, let's go over to Facebook, uh, they're just, once they start selling, they sell them all. The train has left the station, folks, that's the bottom line. Um, Facebook, yeah, look at this, so Facebook just got back inside its, its lower range also. Now. The volume on Facebook is not big. You know, it's not like these tech stocks. It's not like um, the financials. In fact, let's go look at Amazon and see what Amazon's doing. Amazon has volume. Amazon's going to, that's down 62 bucks. You made the high with uh, 4.3 million, you're doing 6.1. And the danger on Amazon, once again, 12, 1265 bucks. High volume low. It's it's stand. It's out there like a sore thumb. The thing is pretty amazing is that these indices, in basically uh, a week, they're back to uh, January 24th. You know, we take a look at these things. We go take a look at the uh, XAU, the HUI, XAU out here, trading down a buck 41. And uh, the number to keep your eye on the XAU is this 80.19. Uh, we hit 80.55. You know, we're going to see if it's going to actually go right after that number because that number um, is 
basically we get it out of the range. Uh, inside the uh, gold bugs index, uh, that little baby that I'm going to keep your eye on is 174.21. If we go take a look at uh, American Airlines for one of the tigers out here, let's see what we got. Oh, this is a problem. Yeah, same deal. At least it's one after the other, folks. High volume lows, getting spiked, not holding price. Oh, this is a problem. This is a big problem, child. So American Airlines has been in consolidation, look at this, since November of 2016. Now you're going to blow the low out. You probably get a monster ABC down. $57, $17 A to B. That gives you a $30 price target. Yeah, just think you go to 30 bucks, man. 877-927-6648. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously develops accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank. Bank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow right now at 430. NASDAQ's up 197. S&Ps are off 51. If we go over to the Dow Industrials, uh, first off, let's take a look inside it. Uh, and uh, it's, <laughs> it's hard to comprehend, uh, but there are a couple that are positive out here. Uh, that being said, uh, the ones that are taking it apart right now, you have Boeing putting 67 negative points, uh, McDonald's putting 36, you got uh, Visa putting 34, Goldman putting 34, United Health 32, big numbers uh, right across. The uh, you got Walmart putting the six, uh, eight positive points in, American Express six, Coca-Cola one. That's about the, uh, it inside that uh, the Dow Industrials. We're gonna take a look at the NDX 100. Uh, 
every stock in the NDX 100, folks, is in the red. Every one of them. Uh, the biggest one down, 7% down, that's Netflix. Micron Tech is down 6.7%. Autodesk is down 56 You have NVIDIA down 54 So let's go take a look at Autodesk and see where we're at Autodesk. That's down 760 same deal. Amazing. You know, it's going to be amazing here. So people are going to basically, you, you get a turnaround in two days. Uh, and, you know, the the way down is always brutal. There's no doubt about that. In this particular case, though, you've had a lot of these equities that have consolidated for a long period of time. Uh, and they broke out. But when they broke out, they're not that far above the consolidation that they broke out of. And so what ends up happening is that once you break back inside, you uh, got to get out of the way ASAP. Micron Tech, uh, bottom line is that uh, Micron's one of them. You know, Micron's trading where it was trading on March 5th. Uh, we take a look at this, and you put this on a weekly, and it hasn't broke into the lower range yet. Uh, if Micron gets near this uh, $48, right now you're 53, then you better get out of the way ASAP because what we do have with Micron is that it almost looks like at 63, it could have been a blow off top. 481 million. You went up and tested it with 336. We came off it uh, last week with 271. And we'll see what kind of volume we got this week. Uh, this, we get a lot of volume today, that's for sure. Uh, there's some good juice in this today. I expect we're at 53, 48 wants to get hit. Uh, if we take a look at these world markets, folks, uh, bottom line, the, the world markets were rock last night, too. Uh, Europe uh, today, you had the FTSE down 2.4 percent. You had the DAX down 2.4. The CAT in Paris is down 1.9. Um, tonight, I expect you're going to get some monster uh, follow through in Asia. Uh, last night in Asia, we had the Nikkei down uh, eight tenths of one percent. Uh, the Hang Seng was down 1.2. Shanghai was off one. Uh, the, if we take a look at the yen, what you're going to see with the yen, this yen right now uh, wants to be. Uh, it wants lower price, which means it gets stronger. We're at 109.47. What's game now is 108.11. Uh, the euro wants higher price. And, um, you know, we'll see what kind of juice. The euro right now is trading 117.12. This has been a one-way trade all, all morning. Uh, bottom line, we started off at 116.29. You're up a full penny. And the way that uh, the euro is trading, it looks to me like we got a total reversal uh, in the euro, in the dollar, uh, the yen is going to be close. We'll see what kind of juice the yen can get going tonight. And if we do get a stronger yen, then you're going to see a pickup in the gold market. Um, bottom line, um, you get the XAU, the HUI, that they're teetering of kind of breaking down, which is not great. The XLE, we go into the uh, energy sector. Big problems. Okay, so the XLE, you get oil that's still high. You get the XLE at $73.35. You're pressing the bottom of this range and you're pressing it with volume. XLE, high volume, low, 64 bucks. It's, it, it's going to be so wild just watching. You know, what we've had thus far is this. You've had a few sectors already get to the February 9th low. You've had a lot of the equities get to the fifth February 9th low. What you haven't had, and is still far away, is that S&P. And, you know, my take is that we're getting down there. And let me tell you something. Let me pull this back for a second. Because when you see, when we're down there, that would be that we're at November of 2017. That's the number. That's a big number. And the weight of that consolidation would tell me that we're not going to stop at that point. The reason being is that when we had taken off, we had taken off from 24-17, August of 2017. That leg up, that's what we took off on. We get down to the bottom of this leg, and you're, you're, in, the right, you're in the right season, folks, in order to get down to those levels. The reason being is that uh, we had these big currency moves that the market hasn't been paying attention to in the emerging markets last six to eight weeks. Bottom line, between the emerging markets, between our own king dollar, and then, of course, the TAF issue, people are getting out of the market. They're saying, I want my money back. I want it right now. 
you figure out the Taft issue later. Because I can tell you something, the the Holly move is a small move. That, well, it's not a small move. It's 90 to 100 million that they said is going to cost them. But I expect in the context of what we have going on, it's going to be a small move. You know, you have plenty of people that are saying, yes, negotiation. This thing's on the road, folks. It's on the road. The train has already left. The, the train has left the station to go lower in the markets. The train has left the station in the battle with Trump and his tariffs and the whole taxing issue. And that's going to basically hit these companies. It's going to hit them, um, you know, in the pocketbook uh, in a big way. And that's not even, we, we're not even getting into the issue yet about bonds, about, okay, what's going to happen inside the bond market? You know, meaning, um, do, is there a retaliation inside the bond market? I suspect it's not going to get to that point right now. The reason I'm suspecting that has to do with the issue that if you own trillions of dollars worth of bonds, you're not going to basically sell them down. Because as you sell, you can't sell them all. As you sell them down, you're going to be basically cutting your own throat. So we'll see how the whole thing does shake out. But uh, bottom line is that what we have out here, you have a market that is lower. You have a market that has volume on the way down. You have February uh, 9th that hasn't been tested. You stop putting that together and it's not a good scene. But we go to the uh, SMHs. Of course, that's, the SMHs are the semis. Uh, these semis right now, they, that's down at three dollars and forty cents. You're at one oh three. This never made it to its highs. And same type of setup. Ninety three is wide open. You're at one hundred and three right now. That's another ten bucks on the way down. And it's going to basically be the same same deal. What's going to be intriguing here, like when you look at the semis, is that has this. You know, this is almost like a beautiful head and shoulders top. You know, you, you get your head was laying out there. March 16th, you get the two shoulders lined up. If this thing, you know, when it's testing the, the 93.88, if you come into that with volume, then man, that's going to be a big problem because if you take the bottom of it, which is 93, the top, which is uh, what, 114, then you're dealing with uh, 73. What is 73? Well, not the end of the world. 73 is December of 2016. So. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Right now, you have the Dow Industrials down 322. NASDAQ is down 167. S&Ps are down 40. We're coming right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. 
Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance, David White's daily market letter, gives you trade recommendations based on David's proprietary power law vector indicator that put the odds of success overwhelmingly in your favor. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price for each stock and option trade. David combines his years of trading experience along with his background in technology and computing to offer his subscribers his take on the markets on a daily basis. Every trading day by 9.30, David publishes his morning issue of the Path of Least Resistance, along with updates sent out throughout the week whenever there is new, actionable trading information. All new subscribers receive a 30-day, no-questions-asked, money-back guarantee. To sign up for David White's daily trading newsletter right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com, and you'll find the Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 285. We get the Nasdaq off 154. S&Ps are down 35. Percentage-wise out here, what you have, folks, you have the Dow down 1.1. Nasdaq is down 2. S&Ps are down 1.7. Uh, we go over and let's go take a look at the uh, what did happen uh, in Europe out here earlier. So the DAX in Germany, we take a look at the DAX in Germany. This is so the DAX in Germany are down 300 bucks today. We are at 12,270. And I suspect, uh, yeah, this is a major breakdown. I won't get the volume for later, but uh, your lowest swing point out here is 11,726. Uh, that's another 500 bucks down. Uh, we take a look at the uh, FTSE uh, in the UK. Uh, FTSE out here. Um, now, this is the FTSE is intriguing because the FTSE did make a new high on May 22nd. Uh, got out of the range of 7,792 and then just gave it up in spades. Uh, pull this back a bit. Yeah, the FTSE's a problem. Actually, the FTSE was, came down on monster volume on the 15th. So this is, this just broke. Yeah, this thing can run to like 73.26 in a heartbeat. The reason being is that when we went topside, uh, bottom line is that, you know, this is a one-way move. You know, we went from uh, 68.66, March of uh, 18, straight up to 79. Big number. Um, we go over to Asia, because when Asia opens up tonight, folks, this is going to be pretty intense. Uh, you know, the market, evidently, uh, you had uh, one of the targets are telling me that Navarro was on uh, uh, CNBC saying Trump not doing something drastic. The bottom line, folks, is that uh, is what, what is the defin definition of something drastic and what is the definition of uh, tariffs, uh, bottom line, the taxes on everyone, and the market is speaking, and the market's saying that they're totally flipped out. And uh, good luck on the trying to spin the market, because guess what? Um, <laughs> that is a, uh, the market is the market, and the amount of bread that uh, is in the market or gets sucked out of the market, which it did today, uh, is going to be what's talking, walking, and squawking out here. And that's all people are really going to care about. Um, outside of the fact that when Milwaukee's already got hit, those jobs are going to get hit. When we start seeing other industries get hit, um, we get a we have a problem in paradise here in a big way. The uh, Bitcoin. So uh, Bitcoin out here this this morning. Bitcoin over the weekend hit a low. Um, we're at sixty two fifty two right now. And the real question, we'll see whether they can get off those lows. Uh, the February 6th low is uh, 59.22. Now, of course, Bitcoin does trade 24 hours a day. When we're, at, when we're looking at the Bloomberg, we're only looking at when the CME is opened as well as the CBOE. 
Um, so it changed a little bit differently uh, price-wise. Um, we'll see whether we can get any juice. Uh, right now, uh, you break that uh, low, and uh, that would be a monster problem. Um, the volume out here, let's go see what we have thus far. You're at uh, 564 in the NYSE. We take a look at the NASDAQ composite, and your composite out there is at $2 billion. So we're going to have some juice. Uh, the ETF structures have a monster volume. You have uh, the SPY right now is already down $100 million. Uh, the Qs, they're trying to get it out as fast as they can on the Qs. The Qs have done $66 million. We haven't done $66 million since the down day of... Uh, April 24th, we did 70 million, and your high volume down day is 113. You know, and that's the February 9th swing low. Uh, the way that the queues are set up right now, the queues actually are trading back uh, to January 24th. It's pretty amazing, actually. Cause, so think about this for a second: that the Nasdaq 100 brought us up, the composite brought us up, but yet in three days we're already back to the 24th of January. It's, there's, a, there's a problem, we get a problem child out here. And uh, we'll see whether this is the first meaningful correction uh, inside the market in general. Uh, and of course, what, what ends up happening, because the market has been up so dramatically for such a long period of time, when you start talking about a correction, um, it can get very large. You know, when I, when I put this up, look when I put this back up on a, on a, at the beginning of the run since 2009. Uh, you are talking. This gets scary, actually. But let's just say, let's just say, it did a 0.382 retracement. That's 2034, and that would make sense, by the way, because what would end up happening is this. So check this out. You have the high volume low from February. If we break that high volume low, there's nothing stopping this thing to get from where we broke out of. And we broke out in July of 2016. That's kind of how it sets up. And that is a price point of uh, 2074. And right now you're at 2704. Um, so you can see, you can see it's, a, it's a huge number. And this is where, once again, what ends up happening is that the ETF structures are great on the way up. They're a mess on the way down. Because what ends up happening is the whole chicken or egg. As someone sells the Qs, the diamonds, the spies, the trustee of the ETF has to sell all the equities that are inside it. As someone sells Facebook, Netflix, the queues have to get sold down because they're waiting structure inside it. So when you have a situation like this that you are trading lower, you have volume behind the move, it takes quite a bit to basically stop that move and reverse that move. You know, what you're going to see out here, you know, tonight, more than likely, uh, this was the first day that we actually had the, um, the 50, looks like the 50 and the 100 uh, moving average basically is going to get blown out in the SPY. Let me look at the cues for a second. So that, that'll end up popping up on more computers. Yeah, the, the NDX 100 hasn't hit them yet. NDX 100 right now is at the 171. Uh, the first uh, one, which is the 50, is uh, not that much lower. It's 169.07. Uh, you know, the diamonds, I think the diamonds are destroyed, actually. Yeah, the diamonds, okay, so the, the, this is pretty intense. So the diamonds, they... This would be the first time that I believe it's actually under, it's, look at this, this is amazing actually. The diamonds, this would be the first time, I keep going back, okay. This would be the first time in two and a half years that the diamonds are actually under their 200 day moving average. And that just happened today, two and a half years. It's a big number. My point is, is that that is gonna pop up on computers tonight uh, which will put uh, some more pressure inside this market. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down 300. You get the NASDAQ off 157. Uh, the S&Ps are down 37. Uh, we go over to that composite and take a look at that composite. Let's see.
composite right now, 7534. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget. You can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. And so here's uh, so uh, Peter Navarro. Uh, the headline on Bloomberg goes like this. Peter Navarro speaks and the market listens. Uh, Trump trades confrontation guru Peter Navarro uh this was uh, at the quarter of uh, four. Uh, it was on NBC saying there's a misunderstanding about the president's trade policies and with the stat, snock, stock snap back, reversing some of today's losses. Uh, on top of that, Nerero said the 4% uh, uh, domestic product growth is coming for the U.S. economy. Um, is that hot enough to uh, offset the worst aspects of the trade war, perhaps? But at this point, maybe a matter of buy the dip. First and ask questions later. I doubt it, folks. What you're going to see out here, and this is what happens on fast markets, and we did. There's no doubt that was a bounce. Uh, bottom line, they, they and they, they they that was timed correctly. I mean, bottom line is it. Uh, but what you have is this. So the the bounce there was a good 20 point S and P bounce. We were down as low as uh, 2700. We're at 2722 right now. Bottom line. Uh, that being said, guess what? You're down on volume. You have the February night swing low on volume. Um, you got the indices on volume. That's where we're going. And uh, uh, you can go out there as many times as you want and say that you don't understand uh, what Trump is saying. Guess what? The market understands exactly what he's saying. Um, that, guess what? There's going to be destruction 
in the middle of economies, and it's going to be basically spread around, and more than likely in a large way. Let's go take a look at Royal Gold and see how Royal Gold's setting up. Now, Royal Gold, folks, is going after its swing high. Um, Royal Gold is an important one to keep your eye on, and this is why. That We have divergence in that market. Royal Gold, Franco Nevada, and Rango Resources. Those are the three strongest gold stocks for a long period of time. What has happened is that Franco Nevada is not bad, but it's weak. Rango Resources is weak. R R Royal Gold is the only one that has a shot to actually take out its highs. I expect we're going to get them tested, and what that means is that that means that we are going to get an answer are the rest of these gold stocks going to go higher. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now. That is down to 274. NASDAQ is off 149. SPs are off 35. Come right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Oh, look, oh yeah. it's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We're going to take him by storm. Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good, man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. Yeah. But Holy commo! I mean, it went up to four hundred and twenty dollars last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go ten hours a day. We go twenty-four hours a day in the internet at tfnn.com. Always remember, folks. Whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever. You focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down 329, NASDAQ down 160, SPs off 37. Percentage wise, out here, folks, you get the NASDAQ down 2%, SPs, Dow Industrials down 1.3%. Gold contract, gold contract down three dollars, trading at twelve sixty-seven an ounce. We have silver uh, down twelve cents, sixteen dollars thirty-three cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off fifty-six cents, sixty-eight dollars two cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. We had the ten-year note up four ticks, one nineteen thirty. Thirty-year bond up nine, one forty-four oh eight. King dollar, king dollar down two hundred and five ticks, trading ninety-three nine seventy-five. The euro is at 117.02 to 1 U.S. dollar. The yen is at 109.80 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You get a down market. You get expansion of volume. Bottom line, wants lower price. We did 120 million shares inside the SPY out here today, folks. That's after making a high on the... 12th of June with 72 million. Uh, right now, we're trading the exact same spot we were January 3rd of this year inside the SPY. 
We did the 120 million. My take, February 9th, swing low. That's what we're going after. That's 252. Inside the NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX 100. Uh, NDX 100, monster move down. Uh, we're at 171.37. Uh, the NDX right now is trading where we were trading on the 24th of January of this year. Uh, we went down at 74 million shares, and that's after making a high with 33 million. What's out here? We know it's out here. High volume swing low, 150. 150 is coming at you. That's the bottom line. Uh, if we take a look at this uh, NQ, what you're going to see is that uh, you broke this uh, uptrend, and you broke this uptrend with conviction. You know, you actually jumped the whole trend line. The, the trend line that we're talking about was from April 4th. The April 4th trend line started at 154. Bottom line, you blow it apart. Wide price spread, accelerated volume. That's a blow apart with conviction. Small caps. We take a look at the small caps. Now, the small caps, Russell 2000, were the strongest uh, out there, uh, way over the top of the consolidation. Top of the consolidation inside the IWM is 160. Uh, we got up to a price point of uh, 170 uh, on Wednesday of last week. Right now, you're at 165. You do have an expansion of volume. I expect the next move is uh, 160. We'll see whether we get back inside the lower range. Uh, what the small caps also have, high volume swing low February 9th. It's glaring, folks. It's all over the place. Um, if we go into the financials, what you're going to see and this is where this gets really intriguing inside the aspect of where this market wants to go, where interest rates want to go. So XLF, bottom line, you're at 26.78. The XLF topped out in January 29th at 30 bucks. We take this and we put this on a weekly. What you're going to see is that we're going after the high volume swing low of $26.76. We hit 26.59 today. Bottom line, we're going to see if, in fact, that's going to hold. Uh, you, if we break this, bottom line, you're going to be down to 26 in about a heartbeat. Uh, and if we break it with the kind of volume that we had today, because we get big volume today, um, then you're talking a whole different animal. Then you're talking like 21. The ironic part about it is Berkshire Hathaway uh, is the leader. It's the largest weighting structure inside the XLF. It has also broke out the bottoms. It had the high volume lows. It broke them out today, and you had volume behind the move. Um, we're at 186.73. If we put this on, you'll see it broke out the consolidation. That's saying that uh, good old Berkshire wants to run down to this 182 number. J.P. Morgan, we take a look at J.P. Morgan, see how that baby set up. J.P. Morgan... The high volume low, 103.98, and we hit 103.96. Now, JP, this is going to be cool. Okay, so this is what JP Morgan did. Your high volume low, February 5th, 30 million shares. We did 16. Now the question is going to be, are you going to reject lower price? We put this on because it hit, it tested. It tested right, well, right to the penny. It was two pennies below it. Put this on a weekly basis, and when you're going to watch on a weekly basis, 140 million shares, as well as the price. So... J.P. Morgan's going to tell us quite a bit about the XLF. If we go take a look at uh, WFC, Wells Fargo. Let's take a look at Wells Fargo and see what we got with Wells Fargo. It's, it's amazing. Wells Fargo uh, has a different chart altogether. It's, it's amazing. They get fined so many times, but yet they have a different chart altogether. Yeah. You know, Wells Fargo doesn't look that bad. You know, we, we take a look at Wells Fargo. You know, you're basically, you're, you're back in the range. But that being said, it doesn't look to me like this thing wants to break down. You know, you, you're down off a high of uh, 66. You're trading 53. But it looks to me, I mean, the bottom of this range is 48. It doesn't even look like it wants to get down to 48. Different animal altogether. Some of the higher volume equities out here, this is what you had. We had uh, Advanced Micro was down 69 cents. You had Micron Tech off 394. Microsoft was down 202. Apple 275. Uh, Campbell Soup, that, that caught a bid. Kraft is looking at Campbell Soup. That was up 360. Netflix uh, down 26 bucks. Facebook down $5.5. Uh, 
uh, big numbers uh, right across the, the market. Uh, Harley Davidson, uh, trouble in paradise. Uh, Harley Davidson, uh, bottom line, they came out this morning. They said the taps are going to cost them from 90 to 100 million on a material basis. They're going to move some production uh, out of Milwaukee, going to move it uh, somewhere overseas so that uh, the taps don't take effect. In uh, uh, Europe, uh, bottom line is that uh, this, this stock is going after its swing low of 39. Right now you're at 41. Uh, this has been down. Uh, it's been down since uh, March of 2017. March 2017, you're a 63 dollars stock. What you have, you have the high volume of 36 bucks from January of 2016 that hasn't been tested. That's where this baby wants to go. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. So let's go over to GE. This is it, folks. This is all she wrote. You want to take a picture? Uh, bottom line, let's. Uh, and what, what I'm saying specifically, this is the last time you'll see GE trade in the Dow Industrials. Uh, at the open tomorrow morning, Walgreens is going to be in there. GE's not. GE's at $12.75. And what I expect you're going to see, this thing's going to go after this uh, 1261 low. Uh, the way GE is set up, uh, and which, so what GE did today, uh, they're looking for anything and everything they can sell. They must be in such a cash uh, 
a tough position, folks. Uh, it's pretty intense. So they're selling their, let's see. Okay, so this the the transact they're going to sell the distributed power business to Advent International for 3.25 billion. Um, the deal is going to close in the fourth quarter. Bottom line is that uh, we'll see how this whole thing shakes out. But I, GE is selling off piece by piece without really saying that. Yeah, guess what? They're selling the whole company. They they're looking for anything and everything they can get cash on. Um, 1273, what you're going to see here uh, is that 1261 is the number from last week. So 1261, we broke to another low last week, had some decent volume behind the move. And when we bring this back, what's still sticking out like a sore thumb, we're getting closer and closer to it, is the 1135. So $11.35 is the high of the low. The way that GE is actually selling off units don't be surprised if it gets to the low, because the what you have here is that as you sell units off to get cash, to keep cash, then what are you going to make the money with? Then the bottom line, what do you have left? You know, we'll find out uh, how that shakes out. But what I expect you're going to see there is that more problems. If we go over to Boeing, we take a look at Boeing. Of course, Boeing is the largest weighting structure inside the Dow Industrials. And Boeing's also making its way down to this uh, high volume lows. Boeing, the high volume lows, 311. They're at uh, 331 right now. Uh, Netflix, NFLX, what we had with Netflix out here, uh, Netflix comes off the high, has volume off the high. And let me see if this broke yet. So Netflix had finished, uh, just finished an ABC up too. So it's intriguing. So Netflix hasn't broken its uptrend yet. Uh, bottom line though, uh, <laughs> If we come down today like we did uh, tomorrow, like we did yesterday, that's going to basically put Netflix game for 292. And what Netflix hasn't done, Netflix was a one-way move, like pretty dramatically since uh, December of 2017. The stock doubled, 185, actually more than doubled, 185 to 423. So we can expect some action there. Uh, Facebook, we go take a look at Facebook. Facebook uh, today was down five and a half dollars. Uh, you didn't have the volume on the move. You know, bottom line is that Facebook's still holding tight. Facebook would have to get inside 195 um, in order to basically get to lower price. Tesla, we go take a look at Tesla out here. Tesla traded uh, flat. Um, now Tesla's in the lower range though. That's that's the difference is there. Tesla is in the lower range. I, I suspect Tesla can basically get into a 322. Uh, the difference with Tesla being that you still have a 30% shot position. That's a monster shot position, folks, inside the marketplace. The TLT, bonds. So TLT out here, we did, we're up 27 cents. You're at 120.80. You did 8 million shares. That's a small expansion of volume, nothing huge. You're going into 6 million. I suspect we're going to basically make the run to 122.58. The real, the real question is going to be, in this marketplace, you get twofold here. You had the S&Ps get out of 2,700 today. You had Navarro come on CNBC saying that no, the market has it all wrong. That uh, well, here let me let me get to the actual quote. So let's see. Let me do this. ESU eight. I'll, I'll get to that quote, but the bottom the bottom line is that uh, the quote by Navarro did bounce the S and P up 20 points. Um, is it going to make a difference? No, it's not going to make a difference, folks. Because the bottom line is that they're selling the market down. When you have large institutions selling the market down in order to protect their portfolios, okay. Bottom line is that you have a reversal of the trend. You have monster volume that's coming out. And it's going to take quite a bit to reverse that again. It's not like you and I selling. Uh, the different differential gets pretty intense when you start seeing um, the type of volume that we had. And what, what ends up happening is that, as I said many times, the ETF structure is great when you're going up. 
When you're coming down, just the opposite actually happens because then you're dealing with the weighting structure inside the ETF and you know whether you sell the equity or sell the ETF, one hits the other. If we go into the uh, IBB, kind of flat market out here today. The IBB was only down two bucks, um, buck ten. And that's something you might want to basically keep your eye on. The reason being is that the IBB has already tested its high volume swing low from February 9th. That high volume swing low is $101.02. You had 7.9 million shares. That tested with 2.8 million versus 7.9 on April 6th. And, you know, I expect that the, uh, we can get back to 108, but this is going to be something you want to watch because. Uh, because it already tested it. And, you know, we had, uh, if we go over to Google, Google was one of the first um, high flies that tested it. Uh, you know, the high volume low on Google was 9.92. It did a counter trend bounce up to 11.77. And then it came down and did the test on March 28. So March 28 had 3.3 million. It was testing 3.5. Oh. 3.3, uh, okay, it did 3.3 to 3.5. And then what did it do? Guess what? It went from 980 all the way back up to its highs of 1186. Now, what Google also did is it failed up there at 1185. Comes off the high, has some volume, and we'll see whether that's going to stay in the consolidation because that is one monster consolidation, though. There's no doubt about that. Uh, Goldman Sachs, who did ring the bell um, when it was at that 250 mark, that broke lower today. Broke with volume. We went uh, we're down four and a half dollars. You're two twenty one, and this I believe, yeah, this is still on, on its way to two oh nine. Uh, two oh nine. That's December of twenty sixteen. So what's going to be intriguing here on, in the Goldman aspect is that you know the market's been up, but what we have had the the true expansion inside the market had to do with the Fang stocks. The Fang stocks up dramatically, not in a small way. There's no two ways about that. Up dramatically, and what that did uh, inside that NDX 100, that took that NDX 100 to all-time highs last Wednesday. We got to uh, 73.09. Well, the NDX 100, one second you were to all-time highs, the next second you're trading where we were January 24th, because that's, that's where we are. And we came off those highs, and we did come off those highs with volume. So that is a... Uh, problem child when you, we're coming off highs with volume. Dow Industrials uh, traded down 328. NASDAQ off 160. S&P's off 37. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the X. SAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining.
mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials uh, finished uh, down 328. NASDAQ off a of buck 60. S&P's off 38. So here's the quote. Uh, so Peter Navarro came on CNBC this afternoon, folks, and here's the quote. There's no plans to impose investment restrictions on any countries that are interfering in any way with our country. This is not the plan. He said in an interview on CB, CNBC Monday with the Dow Industrials down more than 400 points. The whole idea that we're putting investment restrictions on the world, please discount that. All we're doing here with the president's trade policy is trying to defend our technology when it may be threatened. Bottom line, folks. Uh, uh, recent stock market declines are overreaction, he said. Things are bullish here in America, he said. Bottom line, folks, what's so cool about the stock market, we'll know in the next few days whether the stock market believes it or not. I particularly don't believe a word he's saying. In fact, the, if you believe a word that any of them saying, you're going to have a, well, bottom line is that uh, it's on a continual basis. As it starts hitting people's pockets, guess what? You're, you're going to um, you're going to see some heavy uh, volume. You're going to see swing points broken. The real question is going to be what happens at the February 9th swing low. Um, we'll see how that shakes out. Yeah, one of the uh, the first, um, let's pull this up. So uh, this is uh, GW Pharmaceutical. Uh, they just got the first, let's see how this uh, um, okay, so here it is here. Uh, the first ever me medical marijuana derived, the first ever medical treatment derived from marijuana plant will hit the U.S. market in a few months after regulators on Monday gave the epilepsy treatment the green light. The Food and Drug Administration approved GW Pharmaceuticals uh, to treat two rare forms of childhood epilepsy according to the agency's website. The liquid is made from a compound in the marijuana plant called cannabinoid, a different chemical from the tetrocabinoid or the THC, which gets used as high. Um, absolutely, abs absolutely, patients and doctors have long had a, had a long interest in marijuana's therapeutic potential. The approval marks the first time patients will have access to the U.S. in the U.S. to a cannabinoid delivered drug that has undergone a safety and efficiency review by the FDA. Uh, and uh, no doubt they uh, this, they sold the news on this uh, stock, folks. Well, the market was down too. Uh, this stock uh, three months ago was one hundred and five dollars, ran up to one one sixty four, closed down. Well, it's actually an ABC down. So your your A point on this is one sixty four. Your B is uh, one forty five. So you got uh, nineteen bucks. Your C is one fifty seven. So you're talking about uh, one thirty eight. We're at 144 right now. Let's go up to Canada and see how the uh, canopy, because when I had, was when I was finishing up the show on Friday, what you had is that you had uh, Molson's come out and 
bottom line saying that they are looking at the marijuana stocks in Canada and they were looking at those marijuana stocks in Canada. The thing was amazing, actually. Um, they were looking at the marijuana stocks in Canada in order to make infused beers. Um, in fact, they didn't say just, I, I don't believe they said, they didn't say infused drinks. They said infused beers. That's the thing that was a trip. Um, so let's see what the Molson Coors may be getting into the marijuana business. Okay, so, uh, but beverage giant Molson Coors may be getting into the marijuana business. The company said it is considering whether to branch out in the cannabis infused beverages after Canada legalized the drug for recreational use. Citing people familiar with the matter, Bloomberg says the company has been in talks with as many as four different cannabis companies over the past six months to discuss their plans to enter the space. While it hasn't been confirmed in the report, during the uh, investor presentation June 6th, Molson Coors CEO Mark Hunter indicated the company was exploring the risk and opportunities of entering the cannabis space in Canada. Uh, in its annual financial report filed with the SEC, the company cited the spread of legal marijuana as a risk to its business. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it is a risk to their business. If Coors, uh, Molson Coors gets into the marijuana business, it won't be the first bear brand to do so. Constellation Brands, the parent company of um, Corona, bought a min minority stake in the United States' largest marijuana producer, which is Canopy Growth, last year. Uh, recreational uh, marijuana will be legal in the country of Canada on October 17th. So bottom line is that I suspect what you're going to see is that you are going to see those bear companies uh, and more than likely tobacco companies. Um, you know, Canada is big on bear anyway, though. So I, I can picture Molson's going into, uh, you know, one of those equities. I wouldn't be buying those equities right now. So if, if we look at uh, canopy growth, so canopy growth right now is trading... Come on, baby. So it's trading 41.46. That's 41.46 Canadian, too, actually. I brought this up on the Canadian exchange. And, okay, so you did the same. You, you went to a high volume low. No, high volume high, rather. 87 million. This is pretty cool. So watch how this shakes out, folks. It had a high volume high of $44. That was generated the January 12th, week of January 12th. You go all the way down to 20, cuts in half. You test out there and get to 23. Takes off again. You know, this is, this is game. This can come down to now 34. So you can expect the volatility is going to continue uh, in those markets, and I suspect um, in, in a big way, too. The amount of growth that they expect is pretty astronomical. The real question is going to be, uh, does competition come in and what, the pricing structure? But that's, and what I don't know yet, which i yeah, I got to find out, is that can the individuals in Canada also grow it? Or is the province is just selling it? You know? But all those equities, um, they've been all up and they're up pretty good. We're going to take a look at the uh, silver market. Silver, if we go to the SLV, so we, have, we still have divergence inside the gold and silver market. Silver has held well. Gold hasn't. When I say silver said held well, we've been in this consolidation for five months now. Uh, bottom line, you know, sil the SLV was $15.20 February 9th. Um, and... We went down there. We basically hit that low again on uh, May 1st. And in fact, let me put this on. Um, okay, so on. I see the December one. Interesting. On a weekly, you get 50 million versus 50. Oh, interesting. Versus. 42 and 42. It's actually pretty dangerous. Well, okay, so this is what we have. May 4th, you tested the February swing point, and you tested almost the same amount of volume. We did go topside the week of the 15th of June. That's a plus. We'll see how this shakes out. And one of the Tigers was just telling me, uh, telling us... Uh, 
Okay, so you can grow four cannabis plants at a time. Well, man, if everyone grows four cannabis plants at a time, I don't know if they're gonna have to buy anything, right? That's pretty. That's pretty wild. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow Industrials down 328. Nasdaq off 160. S&P's down 37. Come right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. And, you know, folks, don't forget, uh, we do news at the top of the hour. We start at 9 o'clock in the morning. We go right to 5 at night. Uh, and I was, I was listening to Tommy a little bit earlier. Uh, this is a big number. So check this out. This is actually hard to comprehend. So Facebook, uh, Facebook's Instagram is right now estimated to be worth more than $100 billion if it was a standalone company. If you want, you want to talk about making an investment, that's a hundredfold return since the app was purchased in 2012, and according to data complied by Bloomberg Intelligence. Uh, the photo sharing uh, platform, which reached 1 billion monthly active service earlier this month, like, likely helped nudge Instagram revenue past 10 billion over the next 12 months, B Bloomberg Intelligence analyst wrote in a report Monday. Instagram is, is attracting new users faster than Facebook's main site and is on track to exceed 2 billion users within the next five years. While the social network already has surpassed that milestone, Instagram audience is younger than its parent, making it more attractive to advertisers. And unlike Facebook, Instagram is still growing in the U.S. Uh, Instagram could account for about 16% of Facebook's revenue in the next year, up from 10.6%, 
according to uh, e-marketing data cited by the Bloomberg Intelligence. The unit announced the addition of Instagram television last week as an attempt to catalyze uh, future growth. Most of Instagram 2018 revenue uh, will still likely come from its news feed ads as the TV platform is still developing. So I believe, yeah, well, if it's 100, they bought it a, a billion then. If it's worth 100 billion, it's 100 fold. It's pretty amazing. That is like over the top. Uh, big number. Big number. I can, I can see the difference, though. The difference, my understanding, is that when you um, Facebook, uh, the stories are basically a visual, right? You're talking about a visual story, um, and guess what? People like visuals. So that, no doubt, is one monster number. Let's go take a look at a few of the other high flyers. We'll start with Amazon. Um, Amazon out here, down 52 bucks. And you had the volume behind the move. So bottom line is that you're going to get uh, we're going to get lower price out here. We were at 1663. Uh, the first place that you know we, we should get uh, some support is a 1638. You know that's how we broke top side. Uh, if we get back inside 1617, then that sets up uh, the run for the high volume low. You know, face. I mean, Amazon does have that high volume low that's sticking out there still at 1265. So that would be quite a hit. Uh, what what they what it hasn't done yet um, is basically come into any of its um, moving averages. What we will see out here uh, inside the Dow Industrial. So let me see uh, how much it's actually saved itself. I, I believe what happened is that the Dow actually saved itself coming into the close. Uh, the diamonds did, and, and I believe what they did they saved themselves. Look at that, just saved itself. No, oh, it didn't. It didn't save itself. Okay, so here, check this out, folks. So the Dow Industrials, the diamonds, which is ETF for the Dow Industrials, they closed down at $3.35. Had huge volume, 9.5 million. This would be the first time in two and a half years that the Dow actually got under its 200-day moving average. The last time that you did it, well, actually, no, we did it two years ago for one day. You did it June 16th, no, June 27th for one day. And then before that, we went under it, well, December of 2015. You know, so that's going to be a big number. If we go over to the Qs, the Qs, I believe, haven't violated any of those yet. The Qs, yeah, the Qs did not violate even the 50-day. The 50-day is set up at $169.07. We go into the SPY. The, the SPY definitely violated it. And... Yeah, the SPY took out its 50-day moving average today. You know, so what you'll see there, that'll pop up more computers tonight. The IWM, I don't think that did anything. No, it's not even close. The IWM has quite a way to go. Even the 50-day is down at the 161. If we go over to the GDX, now just the opposite side, the GDX has been trying to get on the right side of its moving averages for a long time. Um, bottom line, every time it gets up to that level, just gives it up. Like the 50-day moving average right now is at uh, 2205. And uh, no, no, it's not. The 50-day right now is at uh, 2246. The 100 is at 2222. So you need a good 20 cents, which, you know, bottom line, we'll see what, we'll see if we can get it. Uh, but that that's, continues to get flack. Uh, each and every time that it seems to try to get into a higher price. Microsoft, let's go take a look at Microsoft, some of the other high flyers out here. So Microsoft today, that also comes down with volume, 35 million shares. They were, so watch what happens here, is that when you have the ETF structure start going to lower volume, start going down with volume, you get an acceleration and the weighting structures of everything that's inside the NDX. Because it's high, really hard to comprehend when you see this much selling. Like, did every manager decide today that, okay, today's day I'm going to sell. I'm going to start selling my portfolio. And I'm going to sell all the stocks that have been up dramatically. My take is that isn't how it works, folks. My take is what ends up happening is that you get one sector. And in this particular case, it seems that... 
when the NDX100 falls apart, what you see first is that you see the chip stocks. When the chip stocks start going, man, they go south. And today, with this morning, we had Micron Tech. Micron Tech gapped away. You know, not, Micron Tech's not a huge stock. It's, it's decent $50 stock. Bottom line, gaps away. What does it do? It takes NVIDIA with it. And NVDA, LAM Research, and AMAT had already been weak. Once NVIDIA start going with it, you saw Netflix start going. Then you see some serious selling. And, you know, NVIDIA has been a leader on the way up and on the way down in a dramatic sense. NVIDIA topped out at 269, 10 million shares. Guess what? You're down at 16. This is a, this is a classic that you're going lower. LAM Research, LRCX, which uh, was one of the leaders on the way down. Um, this baby here was down 369. It's making its way down as the February 9th swing low. So picture, LAM Research, high volume swing low February 9th, $156. It goes all the way up to 234. Goes up, what's that, 80 bucks. March 13th, what did it do today? Well, that's an ABC down. Check this out. Okay, let's get our head wrapped around this. Let's just, this just broke the, broke a swing point with volume. So your eight point on this, your eight point is uh, 205, which was uh, June 5th. Your B point is 170. Well, oh, big number, man. It's a 35A to B. Um, that's setting up 135. And, wow, 135, yeah. 180, one, no, 145, 145. And your swing point is 156. So let's check out the B point. The B point, 170, 51, 3.7 million. Oh, no, it didn't do the volume, 3.5 million. Okay, so it didn't do the volume. Bottom line, February, swing low, it's coming at you. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. With over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2000, 
2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet while remaining completely unhedged to the price of gold and silver, now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity. If you'd like to find out more about Great Panther Silver, then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the NYSE market, symbol GPL, or the TSX, symbol GPR. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, BF, uh, Brown Foreman. Uh, this baby uh, is down from uh, high the uh, last uh, five weeks from $59. You're at 48 And bottom line is that uh, this is going to be, you know, you have the Harley-Davidson deal. Well, this is Jack Danless, folks. Uh, what's going to be intriguing here was when Brown Foreman first came out, uh, they, they weren't quite sure uh, how it may hit their bottom line. Bottom line just as... Uh, Holly Davidson saying uh, Holly Davidson came with the number. They haven't come with the number yet, but they have come out with the statement uh, saying that they think uh, it's going to translate into uh, an additional 10% in Europe. And uh, the differential, I would say, is that Brown Foreman is the distributor uh, of Kentucky, uh, Jack Daniels, rather, uh, over there. Then they, what they're saying is that the... Um, the 25% tariff does not translate into a 25% increase on the price of a bottle of Jack Daniels. Uh, Lynch said, due to advanced shipments in Europe, price increases will roll out over the next couple of months in a, on a market-by-market -market basis. Bottom line, though, is that they say that uh, it is going to basically more than likely uh, get the product up an additional 10%, and then we'll see where it's uh, going to shake out. Uh, the market... Uh, <laughs> Basically, it just took a huge amount off their, their market cap. There's no doubt about that. So, tonight overseas, what are you going to look for? Well, bottom line, folks, is that we had a down day. You had wide price spread. You had accelerated volume. That sets up over in Asia tonight that you're more than likely going to get a follow through. Um, Europe, same type of setup. Europe uh, did go lower uh, across the board, had volume on the move lower. Um, you basically broke. Uh, it wants to go after the bottom of the consolidation. The bottom consolidation, like in the DAX, were 12,200. That's 11,700. Uh, what you want to look at for any equities you own, folks, you want to look at February 9th. If your equity hasn't tested that February 9th high volume swing low, you better protect yourself, man, because that's where we're going. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night, safe night. Look forward to speaking to you right back here tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. Go get them, folks. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com.